Hello everybody, welcome to the next X bonus video. In the last bonus video we did Balcom Hines gag wheel. And this bonus video we're going to be doing platinums. So, you need to get to this segment and I believe to trigger her gag wheel you need to go, Wah, Jube, you are being stupid, stupid, stupid! Platinum runs, uh, tears running down her face until she is sure that Jubei and company had given up, up the chase. Damn Master Jubei! And damn that boobzilla flirting with him like that! Did you see her? She was all up on his jock! I don't even know what that means, Luna, but you have to calm down. Calm, huh? How are we supposed to be calm when our beloved master turns out to be a pig like the rest of them? He's a slave, Senna! A slave to the jekyll! Really think so? Maybe you're just jumping to conclusions. Slave to the jiggle, damn it! There's no denying it. And no denying it. The Luna boobies have none of the precious man snaring jiggle. Try to cheer up, Luna. I mean, you're still young. Maybe they'll, you know, get to the party late. That's it! I've decided! Decided what? Operation Boost Luna's Boobies begins now! Huh. What? Is it the name? It's the name, huh? Uh, no. Don't mind me. This is gonna be a total waste of time, isn't it? Alright, Senna. You have to brainstorm at least three methods of booby boosting in the next five minutes. And... begin! Huh? Why me? I know I'm stuck in this body with you and all, but... Are you forgetting that I'm a boy? You have a brain, don't ya? Look, buddy, if you don't help me score some pedigree sweater puppies, I'm gonna make you drink a whole carton of milk through your nose! You... you wouldn't. You know I'm lactose intolerant. Why is this happening to me? Poor child. Locked in your Sisyphean quest for breasts. Who's there? <sighs> Magical girl Rachel at your service. M magical girl? Hey! And I'm magical girl Noel! <laughs> and I'm, uh, magical girl girl? And this one next to me is my familiar, Arachne. Rickon, Well, I think that about covers it. Nobody explained anything for shit! Are they trying to ask for our help or something? I'm confused. Listen up, magical girls. Luna's got a lot on her plate right now, so you're gonna have to shove off. Deal, do it now! You changed your tune in a thrice. Hey, your sleazy familiar said the magic word. Sasumi. Arachne has asked us to retrieve a certain something. Way to narrow it down, Slick. It's called the Boing Card. They are talismans of great potential and great danger. Boing Card, huh? Sounds pretty silly if you ask me. This whole scenario is silly, Luna. The power of the Boing Card allows one to absorb the... robustness from another and add it to their own curves, or lack thereof. Thus enhanced, they can have men eating out of the palm of their hand. Wing card, robustness, curves, or lack thereof, men eating. I do think you're getting there, but I'm going to interrupt in the interest of time. Yes, Lai Chi Fei Ling collects such cards. She's even charmed the one-eyed lotus, which sounds for all the world like a tawdry euphemism, but alas, it is not. Where is she? Bitch is going down! No, wait! Right now, you don't stand a chance against her. But she's euphemizing my master! Listen, child. She forged the Boing cards in the fires of Mount Kagum Suchi. 
handing them out to the humans, elves, and dwarves in order to ensnare them. Oh wait, wrong franchise. Listen, child. She's the Boing Queen. We need to transform and collect Boing cards ourselves to even put up a fight. Luna, she was about to rip off that old fantasy trilogy that everyone's always going on about. I don't have a good feeling about this, people. But great risk may lead to great reward. Arachne assures me that magical girls who collect the Boing cards will themselves become quite voluptuous. Me, me, me! Sign me up! I'll be the best friggin' magical girl ever! I'm just gonna say, I told you so in advance and save us both some time. In order to rid this world of vicious, top-heavy minxes, we need to work together as one! You've been practicing that line in your bathroom mirror for a while, haven't you? For the record, I'm only doing this under duress. Under duress, sis. Not under dress. Though I will be under a dress by the time this is all over. So what's the plan? How do I get all magical girled up? Merely enter a contract with my overly familiar familiar. Arachne? Araku ooze steps forward, his body emitting, emitting a bright light. The light coalesces into a gigantic sphere with Araku at, at its center. The light shoots into platinum, setting her aglow for a split second before it scatters uh, to the four winds. A pickup line than magic. Congratulations. Now you are one of us. Woo. The birth of a new magical girl. It's so less messy than regular birth. Wait, that was it? I don't feel any different, you know. Are you sure it worked? Oh, without a doubt. And just in time. I'm picking up the signal of a boring card nearby. Dibs! from innocent bystanders. How monstrous. Yeah, I'm not gonna let it slide. You know, me being a uh, magical girl and all. In the name of all the flat-chested chicks in this world, we shall punish you. Meowdical girls, yikes. Hurrah! Now hand over the boing card, hairball. Give me them boobs. Jeez. You're pretty selfish for a magical girl, but you're not getting the ta-ta so easily. What, what the? I can't move. She used a bind spell on us. We were careless, I fear. Meow! <laughs> Tal's gonna nab your boobies just to teach you a lesson. really a bad time for a catnip flashback. Everything is more beautiful in its natural, unsullied state. I, Puppeteer Mask, cannot allow you to modify your bosom at their expense. Puppeteer Mask! This from the man who obscures his face. Whoa! I can move again! We've been unbound! Now's your chance, Magical Girl Platinum! Finish her! Hell yeah! Uh, what do I do? Wave your magical staff and say freeze. Then we can retrieve the Boeing card. No, 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 wait! Come on, give Tal a break! We can go in halfsies on the boobies! Freeze! Help me! Help, help me! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
A powerful magic shoots out from Platinum's staff and saps Taokaka, the boob monger. Her body transforms into a playing card, which Araku absorbs without delay. We've successfully retrieved a boing card. Good show. Am I built like a brick house yet? Cause I don't feel any different. Well, we have only captured one card so far. We have to be patient. In the meantime, let's keep up the good work, Magical Girl Platinum. Patient, huh? Okay, but it better not take too long. Luna needs to be stacked, stacked. Pink Puppeteer Mask, why are all you guys so hung up on back-breaking boobs anyhow? Ah, would you look at the time. Until next time, Magical Girls, I bid you adieu. Cut to a few months later. The Magical Girl Platinum is still hard at work fighting with all she's got in order to collect all the Boing cards. Your journey ends here, for I am the Boing Queen's right-hand woman, Tsubaki Yayoi, the Alabaster Tempest. And I am her other right-hand woman, Makoto Nanaya. Blazing Fist of the Abyss! Both of you can suck it! Freeze! Wait! That's all the screen time we got? I came up with that cool ass nickname for you. Finally, having bested the last of the Boing Queen's minions, Magical Girl Platinum and her, her perky crew enter the secret lair of Lai... of... Lich Fang Ling. So, the Magical Ironing Board Squad has finally made it here. About time, ladies. Say your prayers, man-eater! You don't get to have Master Jubei wrapped around your finger or bus line any longer! <laughs> so you say. In the dimness of the full moon I strike. I am known as the Crimson Death, but my name is Ragna the Blood Edge. None shall accost the Boing Queen unless they do it over my dead body. Goodness, is that a ghost I see behind you? <laughs> hey, Boing Queen, I've totally got somewhere to be, so, uh, yeah, good luck with the Magical Girls. Peace out. It's just you and us now. Surrender to Luna and hand over your boobies. I didn't just fall off the melon truck, ladies. You can cast bind as well. I can't move. Over there, isn't that? I asked. Well, why is our familiar standing next to the Boing Queen? <laughs> At long last, all of the Boing cards are mine. What the hell is this nonsense? Faithful Arachne merely did as I asked. He turned you into magical girls and set you to collecting the boing cards. For me. Oh, and that part about your boobs growing when you collect them? Yeah. Total lie. And now, now that all the boing cards are within my grasp, my jiggle will reach levels, the likes of which mankind has never seen. So, we've been played for fools the whole time. Damn, no wonder our shirts weren't getting any tighter. Oh, how cruel! Trying with an innocent maiden's heart and surrounding areas! Arachne! You made me wear this dress for nothing! You're on the shit list forever! Both of you! Where do you get off trying to monopolize the world's food supply, huh? Luna has the right to Mondo headlights, too! Quit your whining, you vapid bags of antlers! Boobs are the foundation society is built upon. Boobs equal power. Simply put, bitches, I have the boobs, so I make the rules. <laughs> no, you lie. You don't get to have them all, cause, cause boobs are like air or water. They belong to us all. 
What? You broke my spell? How can this be? Magical girls, lend me your strength! Go for it, Pranunum! It's all up to you now! You carry the hopes and dreams of A-Cups the world over! Take all of my magical girl powers, please! I just want to go back to wearing boy clothes again. Thanks, girls! And Carl, here we go! Huff up those non-existent chests! It's time for our final attack! Star Boogie Breaker! <laughs> Just the Boyden Queen in Chastity Reign of Terror was brought to an end by our heroines. However, there are still some Boyden cards unaccounted for, and the villains yet hunger for the absolute power of the almighty boob. Magical Girl Platinum fights continue. Keep fighting, Platinum. Never accept defeat. And one day you, too, will rock the Boyden. Thankfully, it's nothing worse than simple fright. All she needs is a little rest. Glad to hear it. Sure am sorry to put you out like this, my G. Oh, stop. It's no trouble at all. You, on the other hand, are in big trouble. Honestly, Tager, huge as you are, you need to mind your surroundings a bit better. I'm very sorry. It, it, it all happened so fast. Stop busting his balls, Light G. She shouldn't have tore off like that. I'm sure it was just his reflexes kicking in. What man in his right mind grabs a little girl and tosses her into the air? Even if she is running right at him. Thank goodness you were able to catch her, Jubei. It won't happen again. I promise. <laughs> Water under the bridge, Tager. All's well that ends well. If you say so, Jubei. And she doesn't seem traumatized. If anything, she looks... Kids are probably beat from the journey into town. Bet they're getting some nice shut eye. All right. Come on, mister. It all happened so fast. I'm still miffed at you. I'm really embarrassed. This is me blushing. Honest. Perfect the way you are, kid. Don't get all bent out of shape over what you ain't got. They'll be beating a path to your door on the way. And that was Platinum's gag reel. So, we'll end the bonus video here, and in the next bonus video, we will do Relly's Gag Reel. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and share the videos so that way more people can discover my content to help the channel grow. And I'll see you all in the next bonus video. Later!